because now Leave in a lot of trouble. He's gonna get popped off by Cream. The hostile takeover is good. The cleanse comes out. Cream gets exhausted on the back end of this. Abel has to cleanse himself. So has flash available should he but need it for the event horizons are just doing so much right now. The bailout's just gonna do nothing. This Vagar gets a triple kill. Game Vagar gets a quadra kill. Bofo just explodes. This bot lane, we'll see if we see any more coming into this one here. And I actually find it very interesting as well. The Zeri completely falling off the priority right now for both these teams. Kind of saying, look, we prefer the Zaya and the Aphelios. Maybe this is the adaptation that we've all been waiting for. See if 200 years or if a lover's duo is bigger and better than the either of the two, but jumping onto the rift, it is even Stevens right now. If you're just joining us, it is 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard. OMG get themselves onto the blue for the first time this year. Nico's really going flash. Nico will get punished on the backside of this one here, but got his mark. Again, flash for an AD carry versus a flash for a support is far more valuable. Aki gonna have to try and cover this bot side. So here comes JJ. They really want to try and force this one back. Abel and PB God neither have flash, neither have anywhere to go. He will not be wasting his cleanse. That's just really smart passing here from EDG. Saying, look, yeah, I'm gonna stay here. This is my camp spite. This is I don't give a damn. You're gonna have to try and deal with a 3v2 for basically most of this early game. Yeah, and I'm gonna see this. I'm gonna say the C word here. I think Allah cancelled it. The all attack as the flash came through. A lot of the time, you'll see a member flash away. I think Shark is actually dead here. Just, yeah, no flash this time around. Oh, Look at the knock up. No, nope, right. never mind. <laughs> and shot. yeah, that time around, the Jax is able to get the kill. We'll get the wave crashed in, no problem at all from Shanji. But yeah, a bit greedy. Season assist is coming up towards this top side. Oh, Still yeah. no flash on Alice. So if he goes aggressively with the leap strike, he could just he's be straight up dead. He's going to do it. Go. Yep, he goes aggressive bye, bye. and. Uh, now he's going to be caught in a lot of trouble. Shanji going to try and maybe go for it. Needs to be very careful with how far forward he goes. But baits it out absolutely perfectly. Aki returns the favor for his top laner. <gasps> we get ourselves a two to one kill. Did he miss the cannon? <laughs> they do have lane prior the first move, but the collapse is definitely very real. And the threat is there. Aki oh. and Green can very easily lock down one member of Sheen. So we'll see whether they can get that done. Have the so take over. Eventually coming out, they've moved themselves in. Now there goes the event horizon as they try and jump in onto the backside. Here, stolen away. Ooh. Green got it with a spell book. The hostile takeover is great. The Rakan is dead, and here comes Shanji. Ruben in with all the power of a freight train. Fofo, they'll still have flashes, still to be able to get away. It's actually a double kill to Renata because of the hostile takeover. Still Ocean Soul, not the most impactful in the game, but when you have a Scion, when you have a Vi, things that can sustain very nicely in this game, might have to go for some more, but. Maybe Fofo might be in a bit of trouble. Does have flash, so would be able to kind of bring it back forward. Doesn't bring him quite underneath the tower. Get the charm down, get the Everfrost in. They're gonna go inside the cage, and the baby shall rage as there's nothing the vague arc can do. The, the damage there a little bit. Not quite I'm sure how. I'm very surprised that Shanji did not press his Aki when he got the Q slow down, because 100% oh, was that flash. I don't know. Right, we'll knock up there, but it's gonna be a red oh. white. They're gonna be able to continue to fight. Hostile takeover is just that hostile. And it is OMG now finding picks, and this is starting to get a bit worrisome now for EDG. Mm -hmm. But what you might not always feel, but is always going to be present, is that extra 25, 30, 40 percent movement speed just for half a second. That's going to make oh. a difference, Aki. I'm going to see the ghost being popped there by Fofo. It's going to keep him in a pretty decent spot for the summoner spell book. So himself away but this is already seeing able to take a hair fair chunk of damage see if there's any plants for him to be able to kind of work with cream dancing away here does get caught up a little bit by the sun and will flash away before the event horizon can come down T tp from top does mean that ella is in the fight now they haven't gotten rid of the vision in the back of the pits so they know exactly what's going on here Allah on a master flank pp god knows it as well no hostile takeover three man is gone and can they find any more onto it they're trying to just jump on the ala they've killed off the vi they've got the down Oh my god, that Moonlight Vigil was huge to try and keep this one in, but Shanji has nowhere left to go. There's no follow-up after it. I thought they could have turned it around, but it's EDG who get themselves two kills and the Dragon Key. Losing the Zion ultimate for the Zion ultimate is pretty good because that means oh you can do something god. like this. And we'll see though a lot of movement all the way back, and Aki goes way too far forward. It's not even Aki's fault, he just presses R. So maybe saves leave his cleanse as we're getting a T-Tour of this jump. Look how far he's gone. Yeah, he's gone it's very great. far, but uh, we got no time because now Leave in a lot of trouble. He's oh, gonna no. get popped off by Cream. 
The hostile takeover is good. The cleanse comes out. Cream gets exhausted on the back end of this. Abel has to cleanse himself. So has flash available should he the need it the for the event horizons are just doing so much right now. The bailout's just gonna do nothing. This Vagar gets a triple kill. Gay Vagar gets a quadra kill. Fofo just explodes onto the map. And out of nowhere, EDG just get everything. And the, 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 when you're talking about a Vi, that's all she does is engage. Now we're gonna see Trelli is used, is able just get the scale force out. That is still a pretty tanky Shanji. Not tanky no, not. enough, it only has <laughs> a no magic mantle, but that magic is starting to do overwhelming amounts of damage. 5,000 gold lead now, 10 to 5 in kills, two dragons apiece, but EDG in firm control after they took the Baron as well. Big TP coming in from Shanji, but they're going the opposite direction, my dude. Hmm. See if they go for the now that they're a bit separated in. Here we go, Choo Choo. Can they catch anybody out? The karma's great onto Mako. That's gonna stop a lot of this uh, counter engage coming out. Cream trying to see if he can catch out Lee. Shanji here, Ala trying to see if he has got enough mana. He didn't have enough mana for the leap strike. He couldn't get back onto those two squishy targets. It is only a one for none. On this Scion, and like you're mentioning, it's just not his core strength for identity even, really. He's capable, but. This game has just not been it. Now that's an engage. They're going in. Mako has to flash away. They're not going to be able to kill him. Off Aki goes golden. The hostile takeover to try and give some time. The Moonlight Vigil is okay, but not exceptional. Ala goes golden to Hold try on. and keep going. This is underneath the tower. We've got three kills and nobody goes down from EDG. You can see they're just trying so desperately here as OMG, but no one's dying. Yeah, OMG just barely don't have the damage to find anything. So many low health bars, but in the end, it's not going to matter. They're going to get their second inhibitor of this game. I think gonna look for the end. There's 5v2, the health bars are low, but they know Abel doesn't have oh, big AoE dead. guns, and they found the machine. He's gone. He's dead. EDG starting to ramp up, starting to warm up into this series. They lost game number one, but the last two have been all about them, all about the power that they can get from this top lane and move it around the map. We'll see Mako go down, but it's all just a consolation prize as EDG move themselves to 2-1 in this series.